Good morning, friends. Greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. We use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That's why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 30 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health and nutrition or prescription drugs, we are here for you. We welcome your phone calls on the bright side. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have a loved one or friend or family member or workmate or you yourself are trying to wean yourself off or wean someone else off their prescription drugs and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you. 844-236-6010 is our number. And of course, if you have a success story or you'd like to contribute to our conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number today and every day on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the program, please go to my websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. You can order products directly off the website, or you can call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470 and ask them, ask them about joining the Brightside Ben team for a one-time $25 fee. You can start yourself a longevity business, earn thank you checks, and help spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. If you want to take a look at some high-end premium connoisseur gourmet skin health products, you want to go to truthtreatments.com, take a look at our retinol 5% gel, as well as our vitamin C loaded Truth Serum, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream and Truth Balm. All our Truth products are made with no fillers, no waxes, no water, no preservatives, no fragrance, no oil, no silicon, no perfume or no perfumes, no nothing that your skin doesn't need or doesn't want, just active and functional ingredients always, and that's why I call the products the truth, truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. You can order products right off the website or just get more information, truthtreatments.com. Okay, welcome back to The Bright Side. We're talking about the fertility and health and wellness and anti-aging hormone DHEA. The hydroepiandosterone, it's a uh, building hormone, it's a multifunctional building hormone, and it's over-the-counter. For an over-the-counter substance, it may be the most multifunctional and powerful over-the-counter substance you can buy. So many, so many health benefits associated with it. It uh, diminishes fat food intake. It's an anti-obesity hormone. It's important for protecting the skin from, the, from sunburn, from any burn, really. It has anti-aging properties for the skin. It has bone building properties from uh, St. Louis University. DHEA hormone replacement increases bone density in, in older women. It's also important for female health issues. There's so many incredible benefits to this wonderful stuff, DHEA, which you can get over the counter. And not surprisingly, given its overall health supporting effects, one of the most important features of this really interesting stuff is the, uh, involves the skin. In, uh, involves skin health. DHA is a building substance. It's a youth promoting substance. And one of the most obvious differences between youth and old age involves the skin. DHA is a skin hormone as much as it's an internal systemic hormone. And as you would expect, given DHEA's relationship to aging and, and anti-aging, DHEA levels in the skin drop significantly. Just like DHEA levels drop internally, DHEA levels in the skin drop significantly as we get older. Now, the importance of DHEA's effects on the skin don't just stop at the surface. You can actually tr use DHEA topically to traverse the skin, to get through the skin, 
and enter into the blood directly. We can, in other words, dose ourselves with DHEA through the skin. This is true about pretty much all the steroid hormones. You can actually get the steroid hormones into the blood through the skin. Most people know there's estrogen creams, progesterone creams, and there's also DHEA creams, and these all serve to bump up blood levels of the hormone by transdermally by applying the hormones topically and leveraging transdermal penetration. This is something we study a lot in pharmacy school. That's how I got in the skincare business, actually. I, in pharmacy school, we get two full years of, of something called pharmaceutics. Pharmaceutics is the study of how you make different dosage forms. And one of the major dosage forms, one of the major ways you can dose the body is through the skin. You've got all kinds of drugs that you can put into the body, into the blood, literally through the skin. It's called transdermal penetration, and it's high-tech science. And that's how I got into using, that's how I developed my skincare products, really, was taking advantage of the same ideas that pharmacists use when they want to dose uh, dose medicine into the blood through the skin. I figured, well, if we can actually get things into the blood through the skin, we can certainly get ingredients to the lower levels of the skin where all the action is, and that's how I develop my skincare products. All my skincare products, all my formulations are designed to work at the lower levels of the skin. This is called the viable tissue. Viable meaning living. The surface of the skin is not living. And this is, the, this is the elephant in the room when it comes to topical skin care. When you apply your topical skin care product on your skin, you're applying it to the surface, to the dead skin cells on the surface. So you go out and you spend your $100 or your $50 or whatever it is you spend on your fancy schmancy department store moisturizing cream, you put it on your skin, and what do you get? You get soft, dead skin. Congratulations. That's what you get with your, mo with your fancy schmancy or less than fancy schmancy moisturizing cream. You get soft, dead skin cells. That's really what's happening because skin, topical skincare products for the most part are not getting past that surface. In pharmacy school, we learn that it, the action is underneath. Action is underneath the stratum corneum. Not only, not only underneath in terms of the skin, but underneath, way underneath in terms of the blood. The skin can be a route of administration for medication into the blood. We can dose ourselves through the skin, and this is true about DHEA, especially, well, all the steroid hormones, but particularly DHEA. Now, it, DHA's benefits for the skin certainly are not only about transdermal penetration. DHA has benefits for the skin itself. It's made in the skin. DHA is made in the epidermis. It's made in the dermis. Skin cells make their own DHEA. And the same anti-stress and general health benefits that DHA gives all the cells of the body benefit the skin benefit the skin cells, the so-called keratinocytes, those are your skin cells, and it also benefits the collagen-making cells, the fibroblasts. The fibroblasts are the key cell type when it comes to anti-aging the skin. When we look at aging, we look at other people's skin or look at our skin and we see it's aging, or when we think about aging skin, we're really thinking about two levels of the skin. We're thinking about the epidermis, which is where the thickness of the skin shows up, and then we're thinking about the dermis, which is where the tightness of the skin, and also a certain amount of the thickness of the skin shows up as well. So you got two levels of anti-aging anti -aging, uh, properties, two places where anti-aging shows up or aging shows up in the skin. That is in the uh, epidermis and the dermis. The cell type of the epidermis is called a keratinocyte, and the cell type of the dermis is called the fibroblast, and DHEA benefits both. That means DHEA will get you more skin cells, so you get a thicker epidermis, and DHEA will get you more collagen, so you get a thicker dermis. That's anti-aging, folks. That's what anti-aging is all about. Thickening, making the skin more robust, making it beefier, making it more like a little kid's skin than it is like an old person's skin. There's several important aspects to the relationship between DHEA and skin cells. First of all, it's important to recognize that skin cells make their own DHEA, and there's a reason for that. DHEA, just like it serves a building function on bone and on muscle, just like it improves the health of the, the nervous system and the brain, DHEA also serves a skin building role, a role. It supports the growth of the skin and of skin cells, which by virtue of their location on the outside part of the body are constantly being bombarded by environmental toxins and constantly being sloughed off. Healthy skin cells are in this constant state of turnover. They're in a constant state of breakdown and development and growth and DHEA's presence in the skin assures healthy growth, healthy development and healthy maturation of the baby skin cells as they turn into adults. We'll be back right after this. 
are back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Got lines open for you at 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about anything we're talking about here today, DHEA, hormones, anti-aging. If you have questions about the longevity products, or if you have a comment or a success story you'd like to share, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. And if you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear us talk about or advertise on the program, you can head over to my blog, pharmacistben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, brightsideben.com, and also uh, I think you can get products over at benfuchsarchives.com as well. And if you're interested in checking out our Truth Skin Health products, head over to truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. So we're talking DHEA. We're going to talk a couple more days about DHEA, get you some strategies for up for uh, for getting DHEA into your system, topical strategies. I like DHEA cream personally more than I like the DHEA capsules. There's lots of reasons for that, as we'll talk about here in a little bit. DHEA is not only it is not only important or not only uh, a skin hormone in the sense that things go, you can use DHEA to go through the skin into the blood. It also has benefits for the skin. The skin is in this constant state of flux. So it's very dependent on growth inducing or growth stabilizing substances because it's constantly growing, it's constantly moving. And as we get older, a lot of these growth stabilizing or growth enhancing substances naturally decline and they decline in the skin as much as they decline inside the body. And DHA is one of those substances because DHA is important for so many different things in the skin and so many different manifestations of youth and, and beauty and attractiveness because DHA has all these cosmetic, cosmetically appropriate benefits, you can use DHA topically as a cream to get skin health benefits. DHEA it will help you with thickness of the skin. It'll help you make collagen. DHEA is a natural moisturizer for the skin. DHEA will help you with skin uh, hyperpigmentation. I mean, every, pretty much everything you want in an active ingredient you can get from DHEA topically unlike the vast, vast, vast majority of, of uh, ingredients that you get in most skincare products. Skincare is a multi-billion dollar business whose profits are derived from appearances and illusion and celebrity endorsement and jingles and nonsense. And we all fall for it. We are all entranced by the nonsense that uh, comprises the vast majority of the skincare business. Nonsense, lies, dishonesty, where they'll tell you about an ingredient, but they'll forget to tell you they only put a trace amount in it, where they'll put ingredients on the, on the ingredient deck, and then they'll advertise and market these ingredients, even though they're at, way at the bottom of the deck and they're in trace amounts, where they'll tell you that this product works because it feels good. This is the silliest way, by the way. The silliest way to assess the value of a skincare product is to put it on your skin and see how it feels. Why? Because you're not feeling your skin, you're feeling the product. If you rub a product on your skin and go, oh, that feels nice, I think I'm gonna buy it. What you've done is you made a purchasing decision, you made a buying decision, you made a, an assessment of the value of a product based on how the wax and the oil and the silicon and the water and the emulsifying agent feel in your skin. That doesn't tell you anything about how good a skincare product is. There's two good ways to tell how good a skincare product is. The best way is what does your skin look like a week after you use it? That's the best way to see what the effects are on the skin. And does your skin get better over time as you use the product? Do your results accrue? Do your results increase over time? Do you get better and better results? If you get better and better results from your skincare product, you know it's doing something. If you put your skincare product on or apply your skincare product on for five days or six days or seven days and you notice that your skin's looking better and better, you got a good skincare product. Now, when you're making a buying decision, you can't wait six or seven days or 30 days, so you gotta make a decision. So a compromise is to look at the ingredient deck, to read the ingredient deck. That's, what, that's really, from a practical standpoint, from a functional standpoint, you can't really wait 30 days to make a buying decision. Look at the ingredient deck, understand the ingredient deck. And you're gonna see, most of the ingredients in a skincare product are not doing nothing for your skin. They're just there to sell you the product. In fact, sometimes 95%, sometimes 100% of the ingredient deck is just there to sell you the product, not to do anything for your skin. The vast majority of skincare products act only to create a tactile change. That is, they feel like something. They create a sensation on the skin. And, and cosmetic chemists love ingredients that create a sensation on the skin because they know we'll be tricked. They know we'll be, hip, we'll be fooled into believing that something's happening on their skin because it feels soft when we put the product on. So they'll use silicone or oil or wax. 
Ingredients that make the skin feel like something's happening when you're only feeling the skin. It's misdirection, it's smoke and mirrors. They're creating sensations on the skin. You sense something, you feel something. This is not the same as something actually happening. Feeling the product is, is not an effect on the skin. Got, next time you put your skincare product, notice that you're not feeling your skin for the most part. If you can feel something on your skin after you put a product on, that's telling you that that something is sitting on the surface, on the dead skin cells. And at most, a skincare product can soften dead skin cells. But do you, is that what you really want from a moisturizer? Maybe if you're absolutely miserable, and dry skin can be uncomfortable, maybe you want to soften the dead skin cells, but you deserve so much more, especially if you're spending top dollar, when a lot of these moisturizers are top dollar. You're feeling product for the most part, not something on the skin. It's a magic trick. There's no moisturizing going on. And even active products that people use, so-called active products, are more about the latest fad than they are about the health of the skin. Things like herbal extracts or stem cells. Stem cells, by the way, are another one of the, maybe the most tremendous scam to come out in the last 15 or 20 years in terms of skin, in terms of skincare products. If you've heard of stem cells in skincare, you've been fooled because there's no stem cells in skincare products because stem cells are not approved for use anywhere. There are only a couple of them for internal, I think there's a couple that just came out here and got approved by the FDA in the last five or six years. For the most part, you can't put a, not for the most part, you can't put a stem cell in a skincare product. You can. When you see stem cells in a skincare product, what you're really seeing, check this out, this is so sneaky, you're seeing a plant stem cell. Yes, a plant stem cell, something that makes plants, not people. And you're not even seeing the plant stem cell. You're seeing an extract of the plant stem cell. They're not even the real plant stem cells. They take, they take the plant stem cells, which make plant cells. That's what a stem cell does, is it makes cells. They take the plant stem cell, they grind it up, they dissolve it in water, and they put a couple of drops of the water in the product. And they say, contains plant stem, stem cell extracts, and we get fooled by it. And they sell for a lot of money. If you ever see that on an ingredient, if you ever see that on a label, or you see that in marketing, or you see it on an ingredient deck, that's a company that is deceitful and nasty and mean-spirited, in my opinion, because they're taking advantage of us. And it's not just the stem cells. There's lots of ingredients like that, silly ingredients that take advantage of our, of our collective chemistry ignorance, and it's not fair. Anyway, uh, vitamin A, on the other hand, vitamin C, on the other hand, DHA, on the other hand, these things have real benefits for the skin, as long as they're in the right form and they're in well-designed products. DHA, particularly, has to be in a fatty, has to be in a, a, a lipid kind of product, a cream or straight oil. DHA has to be in a fatty substance in order for it to penetrate. You're not going to see DHEA gels, really. And DHA certainly has, does not fall into the category of fake ingredients. It has a lot of benefits for the skin. However, it's important to recognize that when we're talking about the skin, just like when we're talking about the health of the heart or we're talking about the health of the brain or the bone or the liver or anything else, by far and away, if you want to have beautiful skin, the most important place to work is on the inside through nutrition and diet. And that's what we talk about here every day on the bright side. All right, we'll take a break. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you're on hold, hang tight. We'll get to you when we come back. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll be back after this. All right, we're back on the right side. I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. We've got lines open for you. Try to call in earlier rather than later so we can get to as many calls as possible. If you're on hold, hang tight. I'll get to you in just a moment. We're talking about DHA topically. We'll talk about, we'll talk about it for a couple more days. DHA, I, I'm not a big believer in using hormones. I, I like looking at, at nutrition as being more fundamental, but... If you're going to use topical, if you're going to use hormones, first of all, topically is the best way to get them in your system. You get a nice slow release when you do it, uh, when you apply uh, steroid creams or steroids topically. And also, when you apply DHEA anyway, topically, you get skin health benefits, a lot of skin health benefits. DHEA is a, a, a pro-skin health, uh, pro health hormone as well as it is an internally important hormone. But it's important to recognize that when you're looking at the skin, it's what you put inside the body that counts. Yes, you can do some things topically with DHEA. Yes, you can do something topically with vitamin C and vitamin A. In fact, you can do a lot topically with vitamin C and vitamin A. But 
The skin is an organ of the body. We forget this sometimes because it's located on the outside. And you gotta put stuff on, uh, you gotta put stuff inside the body to get it on the body. You gotta put stuff in the body to get it on. One of the interesting things, by the way, about topical vitamin C and topical vitamin A is if you're deficient, which most people are, in these uh, two nutrients, what's going to happen is your body is going to allocate its vitamin A and vitamin C to the liver and to the heart and to the lungs and to the spleen and to the digestive tract and the various internal organs, the adrenal glands, the thyroid, the brain, and it's going to take them or rob them from the skin, which means if you're in a deficiency state, and most people are, the first organ that is going to notice the deficiency is the skin because the body will take stuff away from the skin. To the body, the skin and the hair and the scalp, these are not as important, understandably, as the heart and the liver and the spleen. So when, there are, when resources are scant internally, when the body doesn't have abundant resources, abundant nutrients, the skin and the scalp will be the first place they come from. The, the, the internal bo the body will rob the, the skin and the scalp, which represent the external part of the body. It, it will rob them of nutrients and shunt them towards the middle. This is why people, uh, one of the first signs of aging is hair problems. And this is why one of the first signs of aging is skin problems. This is one of the first signs of nutritional deficiency is skin and hair problems. So by applying topical vitamin A and vitamin C to the skin, you can bypass this issue. You can provide the skin with vitamin A and vitamin C, and for that matter, DHEA, directly. Directly. So uh, when the skin goes and, and steals or borrows the vitamin C and vitamin A from the skin, you can replace it topically. And this is one of the benefits to using topical vitamin A and topical C. So internally is the way to go, always. That having been said, the evidence is that there's lots of tremendous benefits that you can get by using DHEA cream in addition to vitamin A and vitamin C, of course, topically. And we'll continue this discussion tomorrow on the Bright Side. 844-236-6010 is our number, 844-236-6010. Let's go to Marlene in Minnesota. Good morning, Marlene, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Uh, good deal, long time no of, talk to. One of our latest health adventures is a question I want to ask, but I do want to tell you about a couple of success stories. One is you were talking about health being a byproduct, and I'm an example of that. I went looking for health, and and the result is I'm down 50 pounds without without dieting. Just That is awesome. What did you do? Uh, well, you didn't even, did you have 50 pounds? Wait a minute, Marlene, you didn't have 50 pounds to lose. Is this Marlene from Canada that I yeah, met with? Yeah, it is. You did, where'd you lose, you didn't have 50 pounds. Where'd you lose well, 50 pounds from? Well, when I first started uh, seven okay. years ago, I did. And it's just been a slow, a slow process. Yes, and by the way, I was disappointed. I missed you by two days. Where, you oh, in Canada? In Toronto on Monday and not on Friday, so. Well, I, I will be back in Canada. I love Canada. Well, when you go, you need to go to Niagara on the lake. It was just a beautiful spot. But is that in Toronto? It's it, no. It's um, over near Niagara Falls. It's north oh, okay. of Niagara Falls. It's just a beautiful spot. So okay, thank you for that. You, there. you know what I'll do next um, time I go out there, which will be in October, I think. I'll give you a call and you can give me some tips. Okay. Well, okay. I also want to tell you the as, as you know i ordered the healing cream for my husband the omega-6 my truth omega-6 healing cream yes and yes. um and then you also sent some tooth serum well i had a I, I don't i don't know the best i can describe it was a pimple on my eyelid my a lower sty. eyelid yes i know what you mean and sty. so i since you talked about how gentle they were i didn't worry if i i was afraid to use anything on it and so um I thought, well, I'm going to use those, and I, I alternated. One night I'd use the healing cream, the next I'd use the true serum, yeah. and I had had that for several months, and it was gone. No it, kidding. That's so an awesome that's testimony. That's success story. That's but a great now one. For, now, well, I should tell you, so just in case for the listeners and also for you, the Truth Omega-6 healing cream, that'll sting your eye if you get it in your eye. You don't want to get that oh, in your I, eye. Fortunately, I didn't, but I didn't want to. I, I figured something you had might just sting, and but not... 
harm. That, the vitamin C in the true C, in the omega six healing cream. There's a bunch of fatty vitamin C, and it will it will sting the eye. Okay. So you don't want to get it near the eye. But I'm glad that worked. That's interesting. How that you know? I mean, that just goes to show you how how responsive the skin is to nutrition. And it also means, as I don't know if you heard me talking just a moment ago, how when we're deficient in nutrients, they'll be robbed from the skin. The yeah. internal part of the body will the, the body will shunt whatever nutrients it can find to the middle of the body to the internal part of the body away from the skin. So it may mean that you're deficient in those nutrients. I, I, I know you're supplementing, but you might want to think about using some, maybe some more vitamin C or some more vitamin A if you're not already. That's just as a, as a digression. I didn't mean to interrupt you there, Marlene. What were you saying? Well, I did ask the other day about vitamin C, and they didn't seem to know what I was talking about. You mentioned it needs to be an oil. Nobody knows. Yeah, nobody knows. No, that's something I came up with from pharmacy, from being in the pharmacy. Nobody knows about that yet. They will sooner or later. I mean, it's been 20, I've been working now with lipophilic or fatty vitamin C for decades, and it shocks me how nobody really appreciates it yet. But you, when you use the truth products, you'll appreciate it because that's well, the way to go. Speaking of your truth products, for general maintenance, what, what do you recommend? Serum and balm. If you want just one, the serum, that's the first one to always get is the true serum. Uh, but the balm, because it has the tr what I call my transdermal delivery matrix, which I developed in my pharmacy, it's kind of a sustained release matrix. It's really nice for the night, for nighttime. So you get the vitamin okay. C kind of slow released into the skin. But if you have to pick one, it's the true serum. If you have to pick two, true serum and true balm. And then uh, three would be the, ret the retinol gel. And then four would be the healing cream, which is more like a multi-purpose uh, anti-aging and healing product. Okay, so the true serum, put that on every evening. Every Every, every day, yeah, absolutely. Okay. And also, yeah. you've been talking about DHEA would, yeah. for skin. Would you use that every day? Uh, DHEA is a little different because that's going to go into your blood. So you want to be careful with the dosing. And that's why I said I'm not. I'm a little careful with hormones because you don't get the same kind of complete benign, non-toxic nature with hormones that you do with vitamin A and vitamin C. You can get too much DHEA. I mean, it takes a lot, but if you get too much DHEA, if you're a woman, you may get some body hair or something. If you're a man, you may start breaking out. Uh, it, it's reversible. All the signs of it are, uh, of DHEA over, overdosing are reversible, but it's just a hormone, and you, you got to be a little careful. It's hard to say how much to use. I wouldn't use it every day personally unless you're trying to dose yourself with it internally and I would go by my symptoms but uh, once a week or twice a week certainly shouldn't be that shouldn't be a problem especially as you get older okay very good okay. well on to our latest I, I wanted to ask you about your husband how's he doing and I'll, I'll tell listeners about uh, uh, what's his name what's your husband's name Marlene? Bob. yeah Bob had some severe severe reactions and itching and Marlene and I worked together uh, and I want to find out how Bob is doing, but we got to take a quick break, okay, Marlene? We'll come back right after this. And we got lines open for you at 844 236 6010. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. All right, we're back. 844 236 6010 is our number. Talking to Marlene in Minnesota. Hey, uh, Justin, grab that phone for me if you're listening, my friend. Um, Marlene. Go ahead. I want to ask you about Bob. Bob had this really, really uh, uh, terrible rash, I guess you'd say, right? Bad itching and rash. Are you there, Marlene? Yes. Over. Yeah. And we, uh, I, told, I told you about food, and then I haven't, didn't hear from you guys. So t uh, what's going on? What's the scoop? Well, it, it eventually did. We, we just took him down to start one food at a time and, yeah. and address the digestive issues. And, and that, so that was March and April. Uh, and actually, he's part of the latest of the latest situation. And the, the first time it happened, I thought it was maybe a result of this of the food problem coming back, which I believe the first one was. But on um, May 11th, he was just sitting at at the dining room table, and all of a sudden, he just started flush from the oh, wow. top of his head down through his his body down through his was arm. he eating he was just sitting there or was he eating no he he hadn't started to eat yet he just it was just before well, did he snack to... before did he have something before an hour or so before no no, no? i i don't well i can't you, you know i want to think sure. about it because that's a reaction to something and it's very unusual for you to be sitting still and have a reaction now it can well, it can happen i'm not well, saying it's not happened, possible but yeah the very next night we were at a reception for our granddaughter yeah. And um, I was sitting there talking to a woman, and all of a sudden, my ears started burning. My head started, the very same thing. The same thing that happened to your husband? Me. The same thing. And I thought, you know, sympathetic pain. Sir. That's right, <laughs> the sympathetic is, nervous system. ridiculous, but it was the very same thing that happened to him. Went down my arms, went down okay. my legs, to my feet. 
eight weeks later, later, um, the same, which was uh, the Fourth of July, it happened to me again. Okay. And and, and it, like a rash going down, and it's what? within an hour, it's totally gone. Now. And then sounds like a nice and flush. It happened. sounds like yeah. a nice and flush. Actually, is what that well, sounds like. Well, that's what I'm wondering. Except I don't think I was on the niacin in May. You got to figure out. You know, I can't help you with that, but I, except for to tell you, it's a reaction to something, yeah. and whatever. And it does sound like a niacin flush, but other things can cause that flushing. But but it's a reaction, basically. That means when there's a reaction, it's re right. a response to an action. And guess who's gonna uh, guess who, who's responsible for finding that action? You. I know. Yeah. See, so you got to find I, what that at action first is. First, I thought maybe it was salsa that I had had, but I. It could easily be, but you, but day. the fact that you and your husband—that's a major clue that both you and your husband. Uh, that was a reaction that both you and your husband had. If that ever happens again, make sure you, one, oh, a great way to handle that is to do a bunch of vitamin C, like okay. a, a thousand milligrams or two thousand. When you say vitamin C, is there? A, a, some say it says ascorbic acid. Is yeah, that ascorbic acid is fine. You don't need to spend anything fancy. You want it to go right to work. Uh, don't do too much because you get a little crampy. But ascorbic acid, vitamin C, uh, is a wonderful antihistamine, non-toxic antihistamine. Oh. So uh, that's what I would be doing. So uh, how if you much also, should I take? Oh, a 1,000 milligrams. You have to see how you get cramp if you get crampy or not. You want to take as much as you can without getting that crampy feeling. So okay. you have to see where you're at. And if you want to bump up the value of the vitamin C, get something called bio flavonoids you may have heard that term you can get that as a capsule and if you take bioflavonoids with your vitamin c you get uh, enhanced effects the bioflavonoids work together with the vitamin c that's how nature nature put the bioflavonoids together with the vitamin c in the plant but of course you don't get big high doses of vitamin c like you would need medicinally if you're dealing with some kind of toxicity marlene i got to motivate here i hope i helped you out and uh, thank thanks you for your very call much. thank you i hope we see you soon take care okay, marlene thank bye bye you. All right, uh, Matt in Alabama. Good morning. Welcome to the Bright Side. Hey, Ben. How are you this morning? I'm doing good. How are you? Oh, I'm doing well. I had That's a good. question about yeah. uh, cradle cap on a okay. newborn baby. I have a month-old son. Okay. Um, he has a slight amount of cradle cap going on. The any breakouts? Does he have any breakouts on his face or anything uh, like that? No? No, no. Well, he's got a little bit of, uh, I guess, uh, whiteheads. Okay, yeah, normal. that's all similar. It's all similar. That's a sign of, uh, you got, first of all, you probably got yourself, a, uh, is this a baby boy? Yes. You probably got yourself a nice masculine baby boy. That's a sign of testosterone and insulin. Uh, okay. uh, cradle cap is like an oily, kind. It, it, technically it's a, a, a oily rash, seborrheic dermatitis, of uh, infantile seborrheic dermatitis, they call it, which is a, a rash that's associated with sebum, skin oils. This is a sign that the body's under some kind of duress, and it may have to do with hormones, how he's processing hormones. Uh, he's, is mom breastfeeding? Yes, exclusively. Have her, have, make sure mom is using zinc, 50 milligrams a day, if she's not already. Okay. Make sure right. she's using iodine. Make sure she's on her essential fatty acids. And if she has any food allergies or food intolerances, she needs to correct those immediately because the baby's getting them too. And then okay. also... Um, it wouldn't hurt to make sure mom, if she has any digestive issues, to, that she's on a good probiotic supplement in addition to making sure that she's keeping her diet really, really clean. Also, because blood, uh, ins the hormone insulin is sometimes involved with sebum, excess sebum production, you might want to make sure mom is, uh, is uh, staying away from foods that spike her insulin. Uh, uh, and then using nutrients that help her process sugar, like the Sweeties and the B-complex. And I would also uh, have mom take a little extra vitamin B5, maybe 1,000 milligrams a day. Uh, vitamin B5 is a stupendously valuable and stupendously underappreciated vitamin for the skin and for hormones and for the adrenal glands and for, for acne, for oily skin. It's just wonderful, incredible nutritional supplement. And by the way, I have a, uh, I have a nutritional supplement coming out here in the next, uh, hopefully in the next three or four weeks, an acne supplement that's going to feature vitamin b5 very important for people who are dealing with oily skin or seborrhea issues so make sure mom is doing her b vitamins and i would be taking a little extra b5 if uh if she can do that too congratulations okay. too by the way how old's your baby uh he's a month old a month old first baby first one yes all right congratulations man a lot of work hey let me ask you uh, the pediatrician said to put baby oil on his head every other day and kind of for the, for the seborrheic dermatitis for the yeah, for the cradle cap. For the, I'm sorry, for the cradle cap. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, I wouldn't. The, the logic to it is that it will help. Oil dissolves oil. Is his skin really oily? No, not really. Uh, I I wouldn't. Uh, it's it's rat. Describe the cradle cap. 
I mean, it's it's barely even noticeable. I mean, it's kind of like his, his head's a little bit dry, I guess. I wouldn't. Uh, Make sure mom's doing her fats. That should take care of the yeah. problem. What I would do mom. also, I, it doesn't sound like cradle cap, by the way, but, oh, really? you know, if that's what he diagnosed it as. Make sure mom is doing her fats and, and, you know, all the things I just talked about. If you want to put a moisturizer on a baby, use jojoba oil. You can get that at a health food store if you want to use any oil. Jojoba oil is one of the, it's not an oil, really, technically. Is that all and it, oil? No, jojoba. Oh, okay. Jojoba oil, J-O-J-O-B-A. Jojoba oil is really right. fascinating oil. It's the only oil I ever formulate with because it's extremely stable. And this is the problem with oils. And this is why uh, dermatologists like mineral oil, by the way. Mineral oil is a very, very stable oil. Of course, it is a byproduct of, of uh, fossil fuel production. Uh, it's a refined, one of the refinement products, one of the fractions of, of fossil fuels. And I personally would stay away from mineral oil, although it is relatively benign. Jojoba oil, on the other hand, is just as stable as mineral oil, if a little bit pricier. It's a, a really, really nice oil to use, and it is perfectly stable, and it is very, very skin softening because it's similar in chemical structure to human sebum. And that's what you're looking for when you're putting stuff on the skin, is you want it, everything you're putting on the skin to be similar to the skin, bio similar, if you will, so the skin doesn't have to react to it, so the skin can actually say, oh, you're friendly, you're, you're friend, not foe, and jojoba oil fits that bill. Okay. Um, All right, and one last thing I just thought of, actually a couple last things, make sure mom's getting some vit extra vitamin A, and make sure mom's getting her vitamin E, uh, and yep. that way all that stuff will come out of the breast milk. Okay, does that help you, Matt? All right. All right, great. Thanks. All right, good deal. Congratulations. That's awesome. Great. Have a good day. All right. Later. All right. Take care. Yeah, if you're breast, if uh, you have a baby and you're breastfeeding, it's all about you, moms. It's about dosing yourself with nutrients, making sure you get the nutrients, and that way, mom will get the nutrients as well. All right. So we're uh, got another show in the books. Thanks for listening to Brightside Friends. If you're interested in checking out the longevity products, please head over to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. And we would love to have you on the Brightside Ben team. We can help you build your business if you want to make a little bit of money or if you're just the type of person that likes to help people, that, likes, that wants to make a difference in the world, that either you want to make money making a difference in the world or if you just want to make the di uh, difference in the world. Longevity gives you a platform. It, it, it's like a, a, it gives you a, a way that you can reach people with products, with messages, and at the same time you can build a business. And that's the way we need to be thinking. In my opinion, that's what we want to think about when we want to build a business. Yeah, we all want to make money, but make a difference. You can help change the world and make money at the same time via longevity, and I can help you do that. Call 866-735-2470. Tell them you want to join the Brightside Ben team for a one-time $25 fee. You can, of course, also get your products at the wholesale price. And don't forget to take a look at our Truth Retinol Gel, 5% Retinol Gel, Truth Balm, Truth Serum, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, all at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Truth, truth Thanks for listening, friends. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll talk to you all tomorrow. Have yourselves a spectacular, wonderful, awesome, beautiful day. Bye for now.